I'll take you for a ride on the devil ship. I'll take you for a ride where you sink or swim. Now come with me and let this story begin. Matthew, welcome, bro. Thank you for having me. Dude, let me ask you, uh, I was going to ask you before and I didn't ask you now. So you have a business model, I think, now. First, you started fucking around uh, doing very funny videos, playing real acting, showing kind of your acting skills. And now you've monetized that, right? You have people who are like, you know what? I want to hire this fucking guy. He's hilarious. Let him work on my commercials. That's what's happening. That's essentially what's happening. Well, my parents, after a year, they're like, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. the videos are fun and you're making people laugh. It's great. And there's followers and stuff. But, you know, where's the where's the income? But I know? love this. They- but, but, but it's, you know, look, parents were, were great from the very beginning. Uh, super supportive and everything. So I have nothing bad to say. And uh, I, to be honest, I needed that push. I need that push, and now it's it's uh, it's led me into the, having this business model where, um, essentially, my mindset was just create um, commercials, but I didn't want to because everyone I don't want to do that whole swipe up stuff. Everyone does. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. boring and it's um, not my style. Um, so I told myself for commercials, when do people watch commercials? Which is the Super Bowl. Right. Some people will just watch it. Like, I'm not a big football fan, but I'll watch the commercials. Yeah, I want to know what they're showing me this year. Yeah, exactly. Same. Right. They're yeah. investing money. It's it's either they're they're funny or they're making you uh, making you cry. So I said, you know what? Instead of making people cry, let's make people laugh and let's just make some uh, Super Bowl style commercials. I mean, they're not at the level and but they're fun, <laughs> but they're, you're they're doing fun, fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and it's funny hearing because like everyone has a different. I knew you from like uh, the the reels, the TikToks I see you and okay. I, like you acting basically and fucking yeah. around and getting angry. And then I have Phil who's like, no, 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 no. He's uh, he's smart. He turned this into a business. He's not that I thought you were an idiot, but it means he, <laughs> he, he turned it into a business. He's uh, he's using that skill and he's like writing commercials. He's acting for it now that, he, you know, and he's using his platform like as a digital creator in another way. He's he's going full 2022. Like he understands that it's all digital. And I was like, oh, shit, that's impressive. Like I didn't it didn't click in my head that, oh, yeah, it's true. He's fucking doing commercials. He's do- it, it, me, it was just an angry man. Uh, like me, uh, <laughs> using his acting skills and just making funny videos. And I like that you're monetizing it because a lot of people don't use their, their passion to make money. Yeah, I mean, they separate all, it. all the times it's, it's it's difficult or like it's, you know, you got to find what, like you got to find how to monetize it. You know what I'm mm. saying? And like you don't want to be quote unquote a sellout or whatever the hell, right? Yes, so, you do. You want to be a sellout. You want to be a sellout? You wanna, look, p- the, 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 the <laughs> don't be a sellout thing is overrated. Everyone wants to be a sellout. Every band, Metallica included, Megadeth, they want to sell out in the sense that they want their art to be accessible to the most amount of people possible and make money for it. Sell out is people who never make it because they're not good. They get mad at you when you make money. That, that's where that fucking term comes from. Like, oh, okay. Matthew's a sellout. Why? Because he's fucking making money and you're, you're not while you're flipping burgers. Fuck off. You know? Yeah. No, yeah. I, I, you want to be a sellout, bro. I'm, okay, I'm a fucking sellout. <laughs> just, don't, just don't sell all the, don't ever sell your beliefs. Hundred percent. That's it. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. But um, yeah. No. I mean. I mean. That. I mean. That makes sense. <laughs> like you. No matter how much you pay me, there's certain things you can't get me to do or to pretend to agree with. Obviously. Yeah. But if you want to pay me to do a podcast or teach you how to make a podcast or whatever, of course I'm gonna do it. You're paying me for my my skills. A hundred percent. Hundred percent. I mean, I've even had some people write in the comments like, "Oh, bro, what is this commercial shit? Like sellout type thing." I'm like, buddy. Like I post a bunch of videos for free that you get to watch and and stuff, and it's like like and even the like my mentality with the commercials is that I try to make them as funny as possible, so that even if you don't care about the coffee or you don't care about whatever it is, you're gonna remember you're gonna share that shit, right? You'll share it, but at least you get a laugh out of it. So you yeah. might want to rewatch it again because it was funny. So it's not like you wasted your time on a TV commercial where like fuck this was boring, and now I'm like I didn't get anything out of it. But at least it's funny. So at least you, you, you still, as a viewer, get something out of it. That's like my mentality with it, right? But that's what this is too, right? Like the podcast, the main goal is uh, I bring on guests that I'm interested in, so we talk. But the whole thing is the showcase. People that don't know you, they're like, oh, fuck, let me go. Who is this guy? Let me go yeah. see what it is. Me, people who don't know me or people who even know me from the podcast, like, oh, I like, he said something funny. What else is he doing? They come to a live show. They come and watch me do stand-up. Everything's a commercial. Yeah, everything. Whether you like or not, your Instagram is a fucking it's, commercial. It's, it's all it's all advertising. It's yeah. all. I mean, essentially, like w- when I started the Instagram, is because I, w- I wanted to, and I still want to become an actor. But at the beginning, like it's it's that whole thing. Like we want you to have experience, but we're not going to give you the chance to get experience. Yeah, that's the, yeah. It's the fucking worst. It's the like cycle of literally just the worst. Anyways, um, but I was using uh, social media because I follow Gary Vaynerchuk, and he's okay. like, you know, just use social media as your portfolio as your platform that's you know, not what he said i'm sure he said just uh just use social media yeah, bro. exactly content <laughs> yeah exactly Great content, bro. <laughs> pretty much but um yeah and that's what i started doing i just thought so i used instagram i was like you know what i could reach out to martin scorsese through instagram yeah yeah 
I, 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 I get what you're answer, saying. Yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> no, but yeah. I've reached out to people that you'd think uh, there's no point in reaching out. And I, we've gotten good interviews. We've made yeah. good connections just by reaching out. People are scared to reach out, I've noticed. Yes. You have nothing to lose. Yeah. Right now, you're at know? a place where you don't know The Rock. Exactly. By reaching out, the only thing that could happen is he never answers and you're still at the same place where you don't know The Rock. Or exactly. it's like, oh, fuck, that's a funny, I just saw your profile, that's a funny video. Like, you have nothing to lose. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah. The, the social media now is just, it's um, the opportunity, there's so much more opportunity now with it for anyone. Because everything's digital. Because everything's digital. And even there's so many changes happening with Instagram lately, like they're, they're including NFTs now. How does um, that work? To be honest, I'm not too sure, but I'm assuming that there's going to be some sort of, uh, uh, not platform, but a place in Instagram where you're going to be able to create NFTs as a creator and sell them in order to make money. So this is good for creators and people who create creators. <laughs> I, mean, I, I think NFTs are ludicrous. However, if you allow me to create them and then sell them and people actually want to buy them, I'll do it. Like but I, I still think it's ridiculous. I, I think, yeah, like it, it's still it's still a new idea has been adopted by the majority of people yet. But uh, I think by, if Instagram includes it in and makes it a certain, makes it easier for people to kind of like, I don't know where to start if I want to create an NFT right now. I, I, I have no idea. No idea. Um, there's so many different platforms, how to buy it, different coins and all kind of shit, whatever. Um, there's another Italian man in the other studio right now who's an expert in this. That's what he does. He's an advisor. He works in crypto. He knows all about this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. People spend their time on it. And I mean, there's a lot of money to be made, but I mean, there's a lot of like, well, I mean, with anything, there's like, you got to put the time into it and to research and shit. Right. So my but, fans know I have a discord and they always tell me I could teach you. And they, they know what they're doing. They're very much more tech savvy. Interesting. Than so I even am. discord. Like I'm not on that. I mean, I no, I'm not really on discord, but it's, it's huge. I didn't want to be on it. I heard yeah. it was a, it was a fan that it created our discord. Remember it was Bash that created a few years ago. Oh, wow. He had created Andrew Schultz's Discord for Flagrant 2. And next time he's like, I'm telling you, it, it, it's fun. Your fans get to post memes and do this. And I was like, look, if you start it for me, if you organize it, uh, that's cool. I'll even pay a yearly. I don't mind, but I don't know what I'm doing. So he created it and then it started to get bigger and bigger. People like talking to each other, becoming friends. Uh, we started doing movie nights. You could watch it on there, like share your screen. Um, and it just grew. And then now there's like, uh, what, 800 people, 1,000 people just shooting the shit more. It's just crazy. And it's just, yeah, yeah, it's fun. Discord. Discord. It's just like a chat room. And yeah. Well, I mean, um, those, those Mad Made guys, they, they set me up with, because uh, they're big Gary Vee fans as well. Okay. And um, they set me up with, with Discord and trying to, and Gary Vee's Discord, he's like, just watch, because like, he'll post sometimes about like coins or, or uh, NFTs that he thinks that you should buy and stuff. But I mean, yeah, I'm not really, it's just it's too much happening. Like, it looks like, uh, like even Reddit, like I'm not on Reddit very much either. Reddit, I'm not good on Reddit either. But it's just like a feed of like so many different like names and people and messages and pictures and shit. I'm like, oh, fuck, I can't even like. I have him. <laughs> I'll send him for that stuff. If there's something okay. happening, I'll be like, bro, look at, try to figure out what that is. Yeah. And then he'll try to, try to learn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, you know what, what it is actually? I think take forums. Forum, yeah. And make it more interesting. Like, like so if you yeah. want a forum specifically for how to solve an issue or how to learn about something. Bring forums into the 2020s. Yeah, basically, it's modernizing forums, in my opinion. What I neighborhood did you grow up in, by the way? Uh, I was born in Laval, but I grew up mainly in uh, Montreal North. Montreal North, like yeah. close to St. Leonard? Yeah, very close. Okay. Yeah. It was just a curiosity question. Yeah, awesome. like, you know the Guzo, like right Yeah. Yeah, for like five minutes from there. Okay. I work there, obviously, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> I always wanted to work in either a movie theater or a video store. I never got the chance. A video store, yeah. I always wanted a video store. Now they don't exist and I have a career, but I always wanted to work in a video store. A video store seems fun. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it seems movies, like so much Video fun. games, uh, you could probably take home anything you want. You just hang out, you'd give people advice. What's the worst that could happen in a video store? True. True. Man, I remember that. Friday nights, going with my dad, picking out a movie, my brother, my, my parents and stuff, just picking out a movie or on a rare occasion, a game that you could like play for a week. It was the best. Oh, it was the best. That's you knew that your weekend was smell. Gonna, oh, bro. Everything about it was awesome. Ugh. All the lights, like the covers. You just look, you have to judge by the cover. You don't have YouTube to watch a trailer. Exactly. You're like, mm, this look, Van Damme's on it. He's doing the splits. I don't know. It might be good, bro. He might be kicking some ass. Like, you don't know. But 100%. it was so much fun. Yeah. I like the mystery of that. And I love the walking around. I could walk around for an hour looking oh, yeah. at stuff. Walk love around. There was the posters that would come out. Yeah. Uh, even like the figurines and shit. Oh, that was, that was, that was, that was sick. Blockbuster or Videotron? Uh, I was mostly going to Videotron okay. uh, because that's what was closer to my house. Yeah. But there was also a Blockbuster that I would go to sometimes. But the Videotron was right next door, so I would always go to the Videotron. Yeah, same. I had a Videotron right next door. To be honest, I don't think I've ever been in a Blockbuster. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't think I ever got that chance. 
it's not bad. There, there was the the last one, wasn't it on uh, an RDP, Maurice Plessis, like in oh, front I of the Canadian Tire? I think it's a bank now. Could it, it be? It's a lot. I remember the block watches that I've been to, and I've been to. All, I remember Codenege had one, Jean Talon had one, Park Avenue had one, Pine Avenue had another one. I've been to all those block watches. Yeah. Oh, I, and there was even a blockbuster. I think uh, was there a blockbuster in Normandy Mall? Yeah, I think there was. I'm not too sure. I th- I, that's the last one I remember seeing. I think was on Maurice Duplessis in front of the Canadian Tire. I think so. Anyways, they're all gone. Yeah, they they're, all, awesome. they're all gone now. So Netflix, you it's movies, acting. You love that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, I uh, so this is a funny thing about me. Uh, I probably don't watch as many movies or have seen as many movies as you think I have seen. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like I got people coming up to me and be like, okay, this is a bad moment here, but uh, have you seen uh, Forrest Gump? And I have to sadly say no. You never watched Forrest Gump? Yeah, I see. There's that, that, there you go. <laughs> That's, That's a reaction. good movie. I know, I know. I haven't uh, I haven't seen it yet. but I It gotta, has all the best elements of a film. Yeah. History, mental retardation, AIDS, the Vietnam War. It's got it all. It's got it all. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. It's four hours, no? It's a very long movie. Very I, long I, I movie. don't know if it's four hours, maybe three, but it was long. The I remember it was chocolates. long. I, mean, yeah. I know the quote. I know the. I know the lines. <laughs> you know the, the the important part. Yeah. You know the important part. The box yeah, of chocolates. It's, it's a yeah, fucking. Yeah, no. I see. That's the thing. I. Uh... Do you just not like to sit for long movies, or what? No, or, or I, I, there's I, certain types that don't appeal to you. Um. No, not really. I think it's more. Like, it was more so like the time wise, like just to sit down and watch a movie. Like I'm like. I almost think I feel bad. Like I should be making videos or I should be doing something, oh, I, I guess, that. more productive. But, it, you know. I get that. We all have that bug. I get that. I, I yeah. had a period where I needed him and other people to talk to talk me out of uh, like not relaxing. Like I had mm. a video game console and I wasn't playing it. Like I bought it and I wasn't even using it. And then uh, it was him. He's like, dude, you can't just work all. Because I would feel unproductive. I'd sit down and play some video games. Yeah. I, Ten minutes in, I'd start uh, getting anxious. Mm. I'd be like, am I wasting time? Am I wasting my life? And then now at night I could relax sometimes and play like online with him and shit like that just to chill. Even yeah. though right after I get anxious, I'm like, I should have been doing something else. <laughs> but at least I could relax a bit. Yeah, it's hard sometimes to 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 turn it off. That it is. Bug. It is. Yeah. It's not healthy though. Uh, but we, can, I don't know what to do to fully get rid of it. I think that's just in uh, in the nature of certain people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah, no, I mean, like, the movie things, like, again, like, I, I love, I love, like, Marvel movies. Like, I will take the time to go watch uh, a Marvel movie, DC. Doctor Strange, the new one? Did you see that? I haven't seen it yet. Me neither. And you know what? I told myself, so, number one, I stopped watching the trailers because... I got a lot of it spoiled to me by accident yeah, yesterday, and I'm I, very upset. I stopped watching the trailers, um, and I told myself, after, after uh, Endgame and... Um, Spider-Man? No, 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 uh, the one before Endgame. Oh, uh, uh, Infinity War. Infinity War yeah. and Endgame. After those two moments, like the big moments were like, you guys have seen those? Well, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, all right. If Many you times. If you haven't seen it yet, then I mean, uh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but um, when, when, when when Thor comes in, right? When he lands, when they're getting their ass kicked. So like that moment there where everyone was like, holy shit. And then uh, in Endgame, obviously, when, when he catches the hammer. Oh, well, uh, Captain uh, America, Captain America yeah, catches yeah, yeah. the hammer. Like the, just being within the cinema with people freaking out. Uh, oh, that was, I have yeah. never experienced it yet. I keep going on YouTube to watch to kind of get that feeling. It, it's gone, but it's gone. So I, I want to wait. I want to. I want to watch those movies opening weekend, but I, I failed with. Because uh, <laughs> you want the reaction of the people. I want. I want to be there with people who appreciate the movie and are gonna freak out at, at little things like when in Spider Man. You watch Spider Man? Oh, bro! Yeah, I, I know the fucking dude. I was losing my shit. Uh, it, it was come, opening oh night, God. and I was losing. And it was the last. Remember, they closed the theaters here after that. It was the last weekend yes. before the dude. I had to and watch everyone's it freaking out, and I was like, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like you're, you're in a hall, and like people are making noise. And generally, you would not want people to be making noise, but you want that at that moment. So, yeah, want. there's specific noise. I yes, I just don't want to hear like uh, people arguing or people exactly, on their exactly, exactly, exactly. But in that moment where everyone's cheering and freaking out, Tobey Maguire comes through oh. in the kitchen, like Jesus. And all, yeah, the, the, they're together when they went to when they went to meet um, what's his name Tom uh, Hiddleston what's his name bro the the kid Tom oh, Holland oh, uh, Tom Holland when they went to meet that Spider Man all three are together on the roof yeah oh that was like because he was emotional oh, and, oh yeah. that was a good fucking scene oh when he catches uh, the Mary, Mary uh, not Mary Jane uh, a- MJ in, yeah, the, yeah, in yeah, this yeah, universe MJ. same thing I, I bro right here I was like I feel so oh, sad man. so emotional and people were like why are you getting emotional it's a Spider Man movie. But the funniest thing is the saddest part in that movie was uh, Aunt May, right? Yes. So here's, people didn't expect it. Myself, I didn't get a spoiler or anything, so I knew it was going to happen. So it's full, the theater. We're downtown at uh, Paramount. Paramount, we saw it, eh? 
downtown? Uh, downtown yeah. yeah, Scotia Bank, whatever yeah. the fuck it's yeah. called now. Uh, it's silent. People were so shocked. Silence. All you could hear in the entire theater is one crunch, one person like, <laughs> <laughs> eating. I, t- I go, it's fucking Poseidon. I turn around, bro. I see him eating. Hum, hum, hum. Like it's just like it's just a fun action scene, and I'm just like shaking my head. Like, what, bro? What, bro? fucking <laughs> Silence, bro. Everyone's like, <gasps> and then. <laughs> it was him. He didn't care. He's, he's just like carrots. he's like it's a serious scene. No, no, no. But he's still watching it like a movie. He's not invested emotionally. I've I, I've said this before, and I'm gonna say it again. It's because I saw the death coming. Well, we all thought something might happen during that scene, but it got so emotional when it was confirmed, and and then Happy's running in and all that. It was so sad. Mm. Yeah, for people that care about Spider Man, I was actually happy she died. Why do the other Spider Man don't have an aunt, but he gets one? Fuck him, bro. All the Spider Man have an aunt. They don't have an uncle. <laughs> no, but they're dead. No, they're they not. Died. Yeah, they died. And in- oh no, they didn't. No, die. fucking not. Tobey Maguire lost his uncle oh. and his aunt. No, no, yeah. Tobey Maguire just lost his. Oh, in the last one, he loses his aunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so just killing off the aunt now. Yeah, yeah. But he lost his uncle first, and then and the other two, we don't know about the uncles. There was, I mean, oh, they're yeah, already dead. Because they, they don't want to rehash the same origin story. Yeah. But it, even the comic books, there was a, a time where Aunt May died. And then, and I have these comic books where he made a deal with like uh, this fucking devil type of thing to bring her back. But then it fucked all kinds of shit up. There's, but she does die in the comics. That happens too. Okay, okay, okay. Which is very, more the kid's young. This is a young version of Spider Man. Oh, no, I was just saying that to be And an Marissa asshole, Tomei is <laughs> still a hot lady, bro. You don't want her to get <laughs> murdered. She got murdered by the goblin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they were great, man. Bringing back the Goblin and even uh, well, all of them. Doc Ock, everything. Fuck, man. So good. Fucking Jamie Foxx was good in it. It was a fun... It was This movie, to me, felt like the best Marvel movie because I feel like it had everything. Even though it didn't have all the characters like Avengers did, yeah. it had all the main aspects of why you like a Marvel movie. Yeah. I had one person say that the fight scene at the end was too short. Okay. Which I can, which, which I can agree with. I can agree with, but I don't think it's a bad thing because the movie was well-paced. 100%. Movie was well-paced. I enjoyed the whole thing. Obviously, you know, when you're watching these movies, you want it to be just a massive freaking uh, fight scene, right? Yeah. So, yeah, it was a little bit short, especially being that you have Sandman, you have Green Goblin, you have uh, Electro. Electro? Yeah. yeah. Um, you, you have so many bad guys and three Spider-Mans, you would have liked to see kind of, um, you know, a longer fight. But, I mean, overall, it was just as great. Oh, uh, dude, I, had, I yeah. was telling him I felt like it was the best Spider-Man movie I ever saw by far. And like I enjoyed myself from from the beginning to yeah. the end, like I really had a good time, and it gave me more vibes of oh I can't wait for the next Marvel movie. Like it hyped me up for Marvel again. I thought I couldn't get hyped after uh, Endgame. Yeah, and it brought the hype right back in. Yeah, I mean same here. After Endgame, I'm like, whoa, 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 no Captain America. Like, what are we gonna do? You know, then yeah. I start watching the shows and stuff, and uh, no, I, but I mean it, it's they're good. I like the Loki show. Loki show is great. Moon, very important show. Very important show. Yeah, Moon Knight. I try to get into it. It's not the best. It's a show. It's a show okay, Moon Knight so on Disney I, Plus. That one I haven't seen. Uh, it's the new one. It just okay. dropped last month. It's okay. It's it's but but Loki I loved. I like time travel myself. Wasn't wasn't Moon Knight? Isn't it? What's his name? Who plays it? Jared. Uh, uh, it's not Jared Leto. No, no. it's uh, no Jared Leto's Morbius. I, uh, Oscar Isaacs. Okay. He played Apocalypse in the X Men movie. He oh, okay. He, yeah, he okay. played a lot of good roles. Him, uh, yeah. Oscar Isaacs. He's probably gonna hopefully he plays a Solid Snake in a Metal Gear movie. Okay. That's what they're thinking. Is getting him. So Oscar Isaac, yeah, bring it up. He's in Star Wars. You see him. Uh, yeah, this was in Dune. Oh yeah, yeah. He, he was, was in Dune. Dune too, yeah. yeah. So okay. he plays Moon Knight. Moon Knight is it's a good show, but it's not. Loki was good because first of all, it's setting up Kang. Yeah. And that's gonna be like I haven't watched Doctor Strange. I don't know if how implicated it is, but I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some kind of implication because that's For the sure. next phase. Yeah. But there's also uh like the scrolls. I think they're gonna there's gonna be the Secret Wars coming up. There's all kind of plans. Yeah. I'm excited for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Dude, I love three. that shit. It's so funny. So great. And they have James Gunn back. Yes. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good movie. I like... Uh, dude, I've been having so much fun with Marvel movies. I got to uh, be honest. They're great. They're yeah. great. Uh, for a friend of mine, he he follows everything in order. So he gave me the list of like, hey, watch it from this movie first and to, you know, like, like just keep watching them. And I did that and it's... It's great. It's such a great, uh, and you're so invested in them. And then, yeah, like uh, you know, when you get something like Endgame, where like now you're not going to see people anymore, and it's like fuck. But I'm guaranteed. I'm guaranteed that at the now it's this is Phase Four, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this I is think Phase, phase four. four. Yeah. At the end of Phase Four, there's going to be some. Again, I don't follow the comic books or anything, but some massive battle where listen, they did it with time travel. So I'm I'm hundred percent guaranteed they're going to bring back a Tony Stark. Well, here's the thing about that, because of No Way Home. No Way Home is the, the Spider-Man, the last one, right? Yes. 
they introduce the idea of a multiverse. Exactly. So even if they can't bring back a dead guy, they can just go to another universe and bring back that universe's Tony Stark. That's how I think they're going to bring him. True, but it's still going to be different than having actually like Tony Stark. Tony Stark. Because they said they can't. You can't go back in time, right? They said that when you time travel, it's like another timeline. So you're still in that. So either way, but but they did it for the, to get the. Um, uh, the Infinity Stones. Yeah. But those were different timelines. It wasn't the same people. They Remember, they were both existing in the same... Remember when uh, at the end, Nebula, there was oh, two versions God, of her? True, same thing, Gamora true, died. True, true, true. Gamora died. The the Gamora that stayed is the is the version from the other timeline. You're right. So the Gamora right, in right, Guardians right, of the right. Galaxy yeah, 3 yeah, yeah. is really not her. She's dead, and this is the new one. So she's probably still going to be weird about Chris Pratt because she never dated him. So even though like we're together, she's like, this fucking guy? Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Which is kind of think about that. That's fucking weird. If something happens to your wife, and then you could go get her from another timeline, but wow. it's before you met. So even though you love her, you've been through so much with her. She's like, ah, "Are you serious, bro? I don't know what the fuck you are." Yeah. There's something interesting about that. I like they do little little things like that that I enjoy. I like that story. Yeah. No, that that, that is uh, that's true. It's true. But fuck yeah, it's true. I didn't I didn't I didn't think about uh. I thought they literally just went back in time. I, see, no, I missed, that, I missed that part. Yeah, because that's what the guy was trying to explain that when uh, Hulk was trying to do the... He was explaining the time travel. He goes, it's not like in the movies. And he yeah, goes, yeah. what do you mean? Uh, he's like, you can't go back and... Like, they were making fun of Back to the Future. Yeah. He's like, I saw Back to the Future. They're naming all the movies. Like, that's not how it works. He goes, it's another timeline. It's another timeline. You still exist. So it's a whole other like, series of people. Like, it's a whole... Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, quantum or what. It's so much fun. I love that. Yeah, show. which is true because that the Loki escapes in that one. Exactly. But dies in the main timeline we'll say. exactly exactly okay exactly uh true 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 true, true. Okay, okay there you go see now i'm piecing all this stuff together it's, okay. but it's so cool i love that they did that the uh, kevin feige i think his name is he's the guy in charge of uh marvel uh cinematic universe okay for years so when he was in charge he was put in charge apparently this guy loves this kind of stuff he said i'm not planning on making like uh superhero movies i'm gonna try to do what i learned as a kid from the comics and make it expansive connected because that's how the comics are right yeah. there's stakes and it gets bigger and bigger and evolve it introduce little things and then it pays off in in four or five years so he started doing timelines and that's where we're at now we're at phase four which it's never been done like i, I i've never seen any even star wars didn't do shit like this like this is crazy yeah. what they plan ahead yeah. oh is yeah insane. This is, it's, it's it's actually nuts it's uh and so well done that i feel bad because i know like i know dc is trying <laughs> But you're, you're, there's no... There's no competing in there's that There's no level. way. I think... Did they introduce... Well, not that they didn't introduce it, but like... They're doing time travel now with the Flash movie that's going to come out. They're going to have like uh, two or three different Batman. Yeah. Uh, uh, Michael Keaton's coming back, I think. Yes. So they're yeah. trying different things. But I think that's the problem with them. They're trying to do what Marvel's doing. They should just do their own thing and make that amazing. Yeah. Well, look, like the the recent movies, uh, the one off, well, the one offs, uh, Joker. Like I the, like the Joker. These are those were good. The recent Batman. Did you watch oh, recent Batman? The one with uh, the Twilight with, Kid. Yeah. I, people talk shit, bro. I love that movie. That was yeah. a good movie. I love that movie. Now, I'm not gonna say it was better than the trilogy. Oh, uh, Christopher Nolan, uh, completely different. Yeah. Completely different. Completely different. But I loved it. But it was very good. Yeah. Uh, the Joker was really good. Uh, uh, Sue is the second Suicide Squad. Did I see the second Suicide, Suicide Squad? The one with uh, the one with um, John Cena. Yes, that was a fun movie. That was a great movie. Yeah. I love that movie. And it I'm was so happy stupid, they made but it was fun. Yeah, it was yeah. better than the first one. Way 100%. better. One hundred percent. I think so. Yeah. No, it was. Um, I think it was James Gunn who directed. It. That's why the was guy who was doing Guardians of the Galaxy. That's why. Yeah, that makes sense. So that he's, makes sense. He's good with music and like these nice moments and, yeah. and the jokes. And the jokes were the were were great. John Cena's fun character movies. was fantastic. I'm sorry, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta watch his show. <laughs> yeah, he has a show. I think it's on, what is it, on Crave or on Prime? HBO? I, I, HBO has it for sure because it's Warner Brothers. Yeah. I'm glad they brought Margot Robbie back. She was great. Margot Robbie's very good, yeah. I feel bad for Jared Leto. Like, the guy, like, he's gotta find his... Dude, everything he makes is shit. I don't know <laughs> if they keep casting him and shit. Like, Morbius, I haven't watched because all I hear it's is shit. it's one of the worst movies ever made. But you gotta watch it. I, I'm I would gonna, assume so. When it's available digitally, I'm going to watch it, yeah. but I'm not going to go to the theaters to watch that piece of shit. Um, that's Sony's fault. Yeah. Now that Sony's working with Disney and Marvel, they should work together on good scripts. They just have the character rights and like, we're going to make a movie about him. And they get any fucking Tom, Dick, and Harry. Clearly, you can see when you get the real professionals in to write good scripts, you could even make a comic book movie compelling and enjoyable for adults. Yeah. So just pay them and have them make a good yeah. movie. 
Because now I think there was even my friend told me that they're planning on taking or borrowing uh, Tom Holland. Sony's taking Sony. Tom Holland to make their own that's other Spider-Man. That's it's what like, they're talking about, man. Like, just leave it. Just, just stop, leave just it. Stop touching it. <laughs> don't because don't, just work the way you're working out. Yeah. Have license it out, license it back to Marvel, and you all make money. Let them make the movie. Yeah. You get money, they get money, and they're good movies. Yeah. But I didn't mind the Andrew Garfield uh, Spider-Man's. People said they were shit. I like them. The one with Gwen Stacy and all. I, I like. Yeah, Andrew no, Garfield. They, they were they, they were good. It's just what I hate is that like you make two and the second one is not as good, so you stop the third one and then it's like you just keep rebooting this shit. Yeah, that it's I don't like, like, man. Like enough, you know. Yeah, it's um, yeah. But but going back to to um, see that was another movie that I have to watch was um, wait, was it was it no, it wasn't Suicide Squad. It was um the the Bat Batman uh, uh, Justice League. I watched but, that. So we watched the I one saw, that I was I saw the shit. Snyder cut. Exactly. Then there's a Snyder Cut. Snyder Cut was way better. Yeah. I haven't watched that one yet. It's way, way better. Long, too. Yeah. Like a three-hour movie. Way better. But you can. But it's like, my friend told me that you can you, you can watch that one. Like, yeah, that it, one's watchable. Yeah. That one's an enjoyable movie. Nowhere near the level of Marvel. Nowhere near okay. the level of Marvel. But it was still way better because the, the original one, I remember I saw in the theaters. I was like, bro, what the fuck is this shit? It was really bad. It was really bad. Really bad. Not as bad as Wonder Woman. The, the, the most second recent one. one, the first one, the woman was so good, the and first, then they just true. ruined her. Yeah, the, the second, second one, was garbage. Man, I was so pissed. Watching we saw that. it with the fans. Remember, we paid money to. Uh, oh, yeah, we yeah, did yeah. a movie night with the, it was on Discord. Okay, I was like, "What is this shit?" It was bad, bro. Oh my! It, the, the whole movie was just bad, and then to defeat the who I don't remember who the it was. It was a girl at the end, no? Or was it yeah, the tiger lady? The tiger lady to defeat her. She used her words as like, you know, you can do this. It's okay. We're in she this motivated together. Her. She motivated her. She fucking Tony Robbins her. And like, it was done. There was no fight. There was no- You need to buy some crypto. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Like, so stupid. Oh, man. It was bad. It was bad. It was an <laughs> ugly, ugly <laughs> excuse for a movie. It was. It was. It, it set women, it set female directors back 50 years, bro. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> that was a female director. Yeah, that's why people oh, were excited no for it. And then I was like, Nah, bro, we need some dudes in here. <laughs> Fuck, man. It was uh, rough. That was rough. And they have good um, like intellectual properties, like Superman. There's good DC heroes, Batman especially, all that stuff. But you, they don't have the right people at, at the helm to create this universe like Marvel did. Because Christopher Nolan, when he took over Batman, you saw what a guy that can think can do. Yeah. Even with Batman, it still felt so adults can watch it and they don't feel like they're watching a kid's movie. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, hundred percent. And I mean, it's so like I can just imagine with like Marvel, especially with their visual effects, mm -hmm. what they do and everything. I can just imagine taking the Supermans and and Batman, maybe not so much, but like Superman. Uh, who else is there? Uh, yeah, the all, Flash, you know, Wonder Green Woman, Lantern. Flash. Yeah. Uh, you know, like obviously, I think maybe the villains are not so like extravagant. Well, I mean, what's his name? The the, the big one in um, Justice League. The, uh, uh, what was his name? Lex Luthor, Superman's. Uh no, they have no. The, uh, the um, Martian man. Oh, um, that big. The, we're from space. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, dead. Uh, fuck. The the guy Deadpool's also great. Deadpool's, <laughs> also. <laughs> Deadpool's fucking about that. No, no, no. The, uh, what the fuck's his name, bro? The. Oh, sorry. Repeat the. Describe the character again. He's the main. There's Dark Side. Dark Side. Dark Side. Dark Side. Yeah. yeah. Just He's like the apocalypse of DC. Exactly. But just with these these characters, I can just picture Marvel taking them and just with the visual effects and everything, just making it like nuts. Especially even like Superman, because he's fucking strong. Yeah. Right? Like, but that's what that's a very tricky guy to write about. How do you write a compelling story about a guy that could do whatever he wants and nothing hurts him? True. So Except it, for Kryptonite. Kryptonite. But that's why you have to be yeah. um very smart about these stories. You gotta be clever. Yeah. But they don't have clever writing. They're just like Superman. Yeah, there you go. But that's Pulled why the, up. the new Doctor Strange apparently has a lot of like a lot was spoiled. So I'm not gonna spoil it for you because I want you to enjoy it. The stuff that was spoiled to me was interesting, but I was like, oh fuck, they're really going like they're going hard. Actually, one well, okay, you didn't watch it yet either. No, not yet. Okay, because no. uh, my friend did tell me one thing about it, and I was like, oh shit, that a that's, lot that's, was that's spoiled cool. for me by accident yesterday. I was watching a YouTube video that it wasn't supposed to be for spoilers, fuck. but he said stuff. And then kind of mentioned something that happens in the movie. And I was like, oh, I didn't want to know that. Yeah. Like, that's actually, you know, because he was, I, I just thought they were going to talk about the X-Men animated series that's being remade. I don't know if you heard about this. Yeah. And well, that, well, I mean, that, that's what my friend told me that there's that, like a crossover. There's a crossover. Yeah. But then I was like, like, oh, you just ruined a plot point for me that I wanted to get surprised about in the movie. Yeah. I was like, oh, you fucking whores. <laughs> but I am excited. I'm still excited. Yeah. It's going to be a great movie. 
Yeah. Look at us, bro. We went off on Marvel. We love that shit, bro. I love, I love, uh, yeah, Marvel's great. But I, Marvel's... I've been a big fan since I was a kid. I still have, I was thinking about my comic books yesterday. I could, I'm gonna go to my mom's house, see if I can get them. Actually, you know what? Funny thing, I, I became a fan like a couple of years ago. Oh, you weren't a fan yeah, as a kid? No. No, like I, I didn't have comic books. I didn't have any of that stuff. That's uh, the only reason I'm emotionally invested in these characters is because I they were with me since I was a kid. Interesting. I wanted to, I mean, the comic books, I, I wouldn't know where to start. Oh, it's, uh, it's a shit show. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just like, you know what? Let me just not touch that and not invest <laughs> time into that. I'll just stick with the movies and the shows and everything. So, but uh, yeah, no, no, the fucking movies are, movies are, I'll take time for those movies. Yeah, because they make you feel good. You get hmm. invested in, you feel nice. Do you... Did you ever think of, like, do you write also? Like, do you want to create your own um, story arcs, movies, or do you just perform? Um, both. So, I mean, everything that I do right now, I also write. Uh, but I do have plans for later on um, writing, like, a feature. Uh, one thing that I'm passionate about that I want to write is a horror film. I want to do a good horror film. None of this, the first paranormal activity We sound was, a lot alike, bro. Do we? Yeah, because I had said uh, almost verbatim what you said. I really, uh, and I had, I think I put it up online. I go, it sounds ridiculous, but I think I could make an amazing horror movie. Like I think, and I want to do it. I want to make a great, like scare the shit out of people. Like I have a lot of concepts. Well, that's it. Like yeah. I want to, I want a horror movie that's going to give you the same feeling as the first Paranormal Activity, not the other 18. The surprise aspect of it. The surprise aspect of it. The, have you the, watched the Hereditary? Yeah, okay, 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 let's, whoa. Yeah, let, let, let's dive into that. Let's dive into this, bro. Well, you didn't like Hereditary? That's a fucked up movie. How did you see it, though? In under what context? <sighs> I saw it in the theaters. I hadn't even watched a trailer. I didn't know what the fuck that movie was about. All I heard was it was a new horror movie. Okay. So I had zero concept. I didn't even, I was like, well, is this supernatural? Is it what's going on? So the first half of the movie, I get attached to that retarded looking bird girl. Mm -hmm. Un until the big scene where you know yeah. she's gone so emotionally like, oh, this is so depressing the kid's dead nah, nah. and then as soon as you're emotionally destroyed then they start throwing in that supernatural shit so you're all fucked up like if you watch it the way it was meant to be watched that scares the shit of you because what he does is he knows i think the guy understood that nobody gets scared of shit anymore because you've seen it all so he emotionally gets you to invest he destroys your spirit you feel dirty like i felt disgusted and then creepy shit starts happening so you're like Wait, what the fuck what the? while you're emotionally open to it and that's it. why it became scary but if you watch it knowing if you watch at home if there's lights if there's people and you're joking around i can't get scared with any movie but i saw this at the perfect uh context i didn't know anything i didn't watch a trailer uh i didn't know what maybe, to expect and it fucked right. the i shit gotta stop watching trailers i yeah. think i think that's a, that's, that's a big problem because midsummer his follow-up didn't scare me i didn't even see midsummer either it, it's just it makes you feel weird and it makes you hate swedish people but i already didn't like them so okay. I was I was normal. <laughs> uh, the the one yeah so hereditary I don't know I just it didn't um it, it didn't didn't do it for me I was like how'd you see it though? No I, I watched it at home with my family lights so I think with lights were off <laughs> but I mean it's it's yeah I don't it's not know the it's same just, bro it's not the same no, no it's not the same I'll, I'll I'll give you that much uh but like the what do you call it there was like the the one that everyone was freaking out over on Netflix uh, um the Spanish one I was I can't can't get the name right. La La Llorona or something. The oh, oh, that movie sucked dick. Like it's it's copy paste. It was the Conjuring these. with like a budget of forty seven dollars. Uh, yeah, exactly. But I didn't like that at all. No, the, uh, the, no. Netflix the, Netflix had the they made their own uh, horror series, The Haunting of Hill House. And every year they would make the same people would make a new kind of story attached to that kind of universe. Okay. The first one, The Haunting of Hill House was kind of creepy, but more the story was great and it had some great shots. Then it started to go downhill, but the first one, this, uh, uh, no, that's like, you that's this, bro, that's not even scary. It's just stupid. It's yeah. all jump scares. It's all jump scares. There's no, it's just it's a typical. Put the haunting of Hill House or, yeah. yeah I heard about, okay, I heard about that. I think my dad watched that one. Okay. My dad loves horror movies. I'll tell you something. Well. This is more, it's not a horror, like it'll scare you. It's more psychological. Okay. And you're trying to figure out what the story is. It's, it's a lot of fun, but there's one episode, bro. I keep telling people you have to watch it since you like cinema. They do a one shot mm. that is phenomenal. Fin like you're watching and you're like, I can't believe like you have a boner. You're like, I wish I could do it. it it's it's so such as because it's creepy, but they did it. It's like, how did they fucking play it? Very well choreographed. So it's a one. Sh it, it's just. You know which one I'm talking about, eh? Yeah, it's a 17-minute... Uh, it's a 17-minute one yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but 
Bro, it, it was abs- like, you know, after a few minutes when you realize you're like, wait, there hasn't been a cut yet. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, what are they planning? And it's beautiful. It's beautifully made. It's the kind of shit that you appreciate. You, you realize why we love movies. Fuck. Okay. The Haunting Hill House had a 17 minute long scene with no. Yeah, that's it. The funeral. Yeah. Bro, it was great. It was great. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I, yeah, should, yeah, I should, I should get on that. Shit. But tell, tell me about this horror stuff. Uh, yeah, no, I just like something that, you know, I want to write something that's going to be, you know, um, that people are going to, are going to talk about and like the, the original, um, exorcist. Okay. The, you know, oh, people watching it in that time. I'm that's saying, what I was going to tell you. Yeah. And I'm watching it now. I saw it when I was 10. Yeah. It scarred me for years. Yeah. It scared the shit out of me. Yeah. My mother was one of the people who saw it when it first came out in the theaters. Mm. It. People were losing their shit. It was like the must-see event, but everyone was terrified after because it was the you know they didn't know what the fuck they, they, no, it was, it was like super the first, scary. Especially back then when like religion was a little bit more prominent. That's like, why. Oh, like, yeah, I, I can imagine. I was a That's kid. I was when 10. I saw it, it was kind of like okay. When did it, you see? It was it? good. I've, I don't know. I was maybe like fifteen. Yeah, that's when you're joking around and shit. It's not It's not as... Yeah, it wasn't as like, you know... I think I've watched it again recently, but it was like, you know, again, it's something crazy as, as to what you have now, you know, with like the face contortions. Like there was the one also... Uh, I forgot which one it was, but it was the one where they're, they're at a baptism and the priest is like baptizing the baby. Oh, I haven't seen that. And then he's you know, so you know how like they, they dunk the back of the head and, you know, and then all of a sudden he just puts the baby under the water and is holding him there and everyone starts freaking out and tries to like push the priest off. Of oh, he's trying to kill eyes. the baby. Yeah, he's, he's trying to drown the baby, and like his eyes roll back, or his eyes go black. I don't know what it was, but then like, um, but the the one part that I was like, this is so cool, is that people are trying to move him and move him, but he's like, it's as if he's a cylinder block of cement. Oh, he's just, just stationary. It's just solid. There, and he's just there. Like, wow! I'm like, just just seeing that was like really cool. Like that one scene, like I have it engraved in my head. The so, devil inside, maybe. It could be the devil inside. So do you do you like? Um, yeah, it could be that one. Do you like more for horror? Do you want more like spiritual, demonic, or slasher? Probably uh, spiritual, demonic. That like, is like a slasher, kind of like you're talking like Freddy and shit. Freddy or Michael Myers. My, like even Michael Myers, now, like it's it's that silly though. <laughs> I love I love the Halloween. Like I love Halloween, the the series. It was one of the first, the first time I was ever exposed to Halloween was Halloween Five. I was like six years old. Mm. And all the kids were upstairs. They were watching Beauty and the Beast. And then all the teenagers were downstairs to watch the horror movie. And I snuck down to watch the horror movie. And that fucked up my life. Because for <laughs> years for years after, dude, I couldn't go. Like, in my room every night, I would have to check in the closet behind the clothes. Make sure there's not a guy standing there trying to murder me. It fucked up my head for years. But I love, I still love, like, Michael Myers. I love all that stuff. But slashers don't scare me like they did when I was a kid. Because... I can handle myself if it's a human. You yeah. Get, if it's a, I don't. It doesn't scare me. But the reason why the supernatural shit scares me is because if that was real, I would be powerless. One hundred percent. That's yeah. what I find is yeah, creepy. You get thrown across the room. Yeah. Like what am I gonna do? It, yeah. it, no matter how much I work out, or it can't help me. Yeah. So that shit's scarier. Yeah. I'm with yeah. you. No, I, I agree. But I think that like the 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 paranormal stuff has been kind of like not overused or or it has been overused though. It, it has been overused, but. It, it's more so like like I think we have to kind of incorporate it in like because like the religion stuff isn't as scary anymore because like we don't no one's like, religious no one's very religious anymore so it's like that doesn't like oh the priest or whatever the hell like like no like it, like it has to be something of today's time so either they some movies have tried with you like forgot the to cell pay phones. your taxes on time yeah exactly they're after you <laughs> <laughs> something with maybe somebody living in uh, your attic or something no no you want to fuck someone over the whole movie creepy shit ha- like it's a scary movie but you don't know even towards the end you're like. Wait, is that demonic or is that real people? Like, there's the fine line of yes. spooky shit could happen. Yeah, coincidentally, or you're not sure. That would be creepy. Just like the the that weird section in uh, in um, uh, not Midsummer, what the one we we're talking about, uh, Hereditary, because there's a portion where you're like, I don't understand. Are they just retards or is there something nefarious happening? That question set right before you because. Until it's confirmed when crazy shit really starts happening. Yeah. You don't really know. You're like, yeah. is it possible they that they're just or, talking shit? Yeah. Yeah. Or, or just like a cult, like creepy people just following you. You don't know if it's supernatural. And then it goes full supernatural. Yeah. But that moment of doubt, if you play with people's doubt the whole movie, you make it more uneasy because they're like, 
Fuck, I don't know, bro. Is that yeah? Should I be what scared or should I not? Exactly. Like oh. paranormal activity, you know what the fuck's happening. Yeah, yeah it's I mean, even called paranormal. Yeah, yeah. Or there's also maybe people haven't delved into cinematic tricks also to fuck with people. Like in in uh, Hereditary, there's that scene where it changes from night to day. They have a few scenes like that in her, you know? like because uh, that's the thing. I don't know how you saw it. It, it, it go, see it like in a bigger screen or whatever, dude. There, you can watch the movie two, three times and and start noticing stuff for the first time. Yeah. He did the dude. There's a part of the, I think at the first scene of the movie or something. Someone told me to rewatch it, bro. You could see crazy shit in the first scene that you didn't. Yeah. You can't see the yeah, first yeah, time yeah. you watch it. Yeah, yeah 100. <laughs> percent And even from the first, the guy, scene, dude, the guy who made it is the kid's a good director. I like the kid yeah, knows yeah. what he's doing. But if you're not watching with that eye, I didn't know until shit. someone told me. He's like, dude, rewatch it. And I was like, oh fuck, there's a person there. How do I not? How did I not see it? There's a person there. And even the interaction of that scene between. Uh, you know the two people. I'm not gonna say because I don't want to ruin it. Mm. Makes you feel uneasy. Yeah, the whole thing makes you're, me feel you know, uneasy. So, yeah. so they do little tricks like this that that haven't really been done before. I gotta rewatch this movie. Yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah, watch yeah. it with eyes to appreciate it. Like leave yourself be open, and you're gonna notice little things. You're gonna be like, oh, that cocksucker. That's why because he was implanting stuff. That's what fucked me about the movie. Ari Aster. He, Ari Aster. Yeah, he made you. That's why in the yeah. first half he's like, dude, people have been scared. I can't surprise them. So the only way to do it is to fuck with them. That's why you get so emotionally attached, then you're depressed. Yeah, I wanted to leave halfway through the movie when the girl had died. I go, this is just, it's not even scary. This movie just, because de- it was all depressing, the whole movie. It was fighting. It was just depressing. Yeah. I was like, I want to leave. I felt not, I just felt gutted. I was like, this is depressing. And as soon as you're depressed, he starts throwing in the scary shit. So now you're you're not. You're emotionally, you're emotionally exposed. Yeah. yeah, you're exposed. You're not defending yourself. And that's when it becomes shocking. So when I left, I was like, fuck, why was I scared? And then I realized, I go, that fucking cocksucker. Mm-hmm. He got me emotionally invested, killed a kid, and then ruined me. Uh, and he killed an ugly kid that you want to hate, but you're like, I feel bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck. Yeah, no, he's he's uh, he's a clever director. He's clever, yeah. yeah. This co- and, but and Midsummer was weird. Midsummer was just awkward. Midsummer was just, uh, yeah, yeah. It felt like it was about to break out into a porno at any moment. Yeah, yeah. There was a one scene. <laughs> yeah. where we were like, what the fuck's happening, bro? You're like, hold on, bro. Is this is this <laughs> where I think it's going? What, what, what am I watching? <laughs> yeah, he's very <laughs> good at making you feel. Not scared, uneasy. He's very just. You feel a little dirty. Okay. Yeah. He's very good at that. The one, the one, the other horror movie that I liked was with the um, the grandparents. Which, which? Uh, fuck. What was it called? Oh, uh, visitor. Uh, the, the visitors. Uh, bring it up. Bring visitor? it up. Let's see if fuck, this fuck, is. Fuck. It was uh, what's his name? It was um, uh, uh, is it J- James James Wan? James. Oh, he's the Conjuring guy. He made the yes, first but Conjuring. I think he also. Oh, hold on. I want to see this because The Conjuring was a good oh, movie. No, no, no. Fuck. What was it? Uh, Type in James Juan. We'll, we're gonna we're gonna find his. I uh, think it was. No, 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 no. No, it wasn't him. It wasn't him. It was. Um, or was it him? Fuck. I don't remember. Hold on. Go look at his filmography. I mean, I liked. I liked the. Uh, I didn't watch the second Sinister, but I watched the first Sinister. Sinister, if I remember correctly, is that that fate the, the movie that you watch the. F- Yes, uh, 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 or uh, oh, in, Insidious. No, no, no. He said no, no, Sinister. No, no. Sorry, sorry. Sinister is the one. Oh, Sinister. The, no, that's not it. Sinister is the one. He, like, you, the, there's a murder that happened. It was Ethan Hawke, right? I believe so. And th- there's a video like uh, somebody filmed the murder. And if yes. you watch the tapes, yeah, that was creepy. That was very creepy. That was a very good movie. And what I loved, you, you watched it, right? Yeah, we all watched it here. The I, ending. I've not seen it. Sorry. Uh, the I, ending was great. How did it end? Like it's set up for part two, no? Y- y- well, yeah, there's definitely a part two. Okay, but the ending was like, I loved it because it was different than all the paranormal activities and the all visit. of these. The visit, the visit. I think you're talking about old people with old people. Yeah, oh. basically, it's these two kids that get dropped off to their grandparents. The visit. It was the visit. The visit. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see this one? No, I want to watch it now. This, that this it? was this good. Is, yeah, yeah. This is this was very good. This oh, was good. Shit. This okay. was good. It was different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was it was different. Different. It was very. It was clever. It was clever too. Okay. Yeah. Don't. I don't want to see a trailer because I already know that I all want to watch it. So okay, the yeah, visit. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, want to yeah. be surprised. No, watch the visit. This I mean, I want to be surprised. This one. This one was another good one. I liked it. Uh, okay, the visit. Let's oh, see the good. rating they gave it. Six point eight. Six point two. Point two on ten. I, but I don't don't look at the ratings. I'll tell you why. Number one, critics can suck dicks. Critics talk shit all the time, and. I don't know w- what someone else's grading system is compared to mine. Because there's people who can't watch the Marvel movies at all. I'm yeah. attached. I love them. Well, what's his name? Uh, was it Scorsese? No, was it Scorsese? Scorsese talked shit about the Marvel, but not yeah. really. All he said was, "There's a." He didn't really talk shit. He just said like, uh, 
he doesn't like them. There's other movies. They're not real movies. He, he said they're not real movies. Because I, mean, of, I understand what he meant by real movies. Yeah. He didn't mean... I get what he meant. It just came off very... Fa- I did not get offended at all because I understood yeah. what he was trying to say. Yeah. He, like film, like the, uh, like a good fellas. I get what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In terms of... He didn't have the the proper words. He used them wrong. But I get what he was saying, so I had zero issue with it. Yeah. People, you know, the internet. Scorsese is talking shit about Spider-Man. Yeah. No, he doesn't <laughs> care. It's, it's not what he meant. Oh, and the visit, by the way, was filmed uh, from uh, a handheld camera, like a POV. Oh, is that it? Yeah, but it was cleverly done. Like, Wait, was it? Yes. You, ju- you, you just don't notice it. Oh, that's interesting. Just, it was just very well done. Okay. Interesting. Okay. okay. I, I actually am going to watch Hold it I think, I think some parts were filmed POV. Not, not the whole movie. A lot of it, though, was filmed POV. <laughs> I don't, don't I don't want to see any images because I didn't get away from there. I just want to. Is it? It's gonna scare me. I'm gonna enjoy it. Yeah, no, it, it was good. It was very good. But again, the sinister was one that I really liked because uh, for a horror, for a horror like movie, like the guy with the skeleton face and dreadlocks, right? Like that. It kind of kind of like, kind of like the predator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was creepy. That was great. I, I mean, at the end, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say because I don't want to spoil the ending for him there. But I mean, the ending was 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 really really good because it was different than everything else. I like that movie. Yeah, that one was. Uh, There's a few good horror movies that come out, but. The thing is, uh, like, let's say The Conjuring, they created the whole universe, mm. and then they weren't all good. They weren't all scary. Like, no. some would come out, and it's like, wait, like a prequel, and it wasn't that good. Yeah. Yeah. The Nun was a little creepy, but only The Nun is the creepy part, like the face. The Nun is, the, yeah. Like, they were, they were, like, showing her in a couple of, like, his dreams, I think. Remember yeah, and, at the and, beginning? And that's that was scary, the scariest part of the movie. Yeah. And then after, you're like, well, the concept, the whole thing, isn't that, like... I'm not that scared. I I didn't I didn't like the whole thing where like it's in his dreams and now he has to go into his dreams to battle or to go run away. Did or, that happen like that? I think that was Insidious. That pissed me the fuck off because it's that, the same actors, so it's confusing. The oh, but it's not it's not the same. It's story not the same universe. universe. Oh, okay. They have the same actors and they talk about the same people in both. But Insidious... Uh, yeah, it was Insidious then. Yeah, Insidious bothered me too because it started off good. It was creepy. And then the second movie... Like, the second you go in his dreams and there's a guy making the keys, the goblin or whatever, it's like, ah, what the fuck? It, it becomes too stupid. I have to go in your dreams and save you. Yeah, yeah like, I it was like, like that. at that point, it's like, okay, like, you're just... you're Now you're... I don't know. It, yeah. it wasn't... The Nun had a creepy... Uh, the Nun had this fucking... Poseidon, The Nun... Yeah. Uh, I think it was The Conjuring 2 or it was The Nun movie. One of the opening scenes was very creepy. We saw it in the theaters together, me and you. I don't know if you remember this, where the nun, like it's a painting, and I think it, it you see a shadow. It's kind of walking out, but then the shadow, as it's on the wall, you're like, "What the fuck's happening?" Oh, and then yeah. it pops out, or what? It was made so well. Yeah, yeah that yeah, was yeah. scary, bro. Yeah. That was a good. That was good. Yeah. Uh, uh, I was right. It is found footage. It really, just, there are some scenes. It doesn't seem like it. It was really well filmed. Oh wow. wow. Yeah. Oh, the, vi- the even, visitor. Okay. There's one scene in particular that was uh, that w- I was impressed with. It's um, have you, you have you seen it? The visit. The visit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's the one brought up. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything because I don't want to. Um, I'll watch it tonight. Yeah, watch it tonight. But yeah. it was uh, it was a scene. It was under. Yeah. That's it's all it's all found footage. Oh, I gotta check that if out. You think about it. it. It just it's really well done. Yeah. No. Well. Well. That, see that part I remember, and yeah. that was POV. But like I, I like yeah. I like I remember in the movie. Had, even, like there being even wide the scenes, shots. Even the yeah. Even the wide shots. It's the kid. Okay. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Let me. Let me watch. He's it. the one putting it, and then you understand. Oh fuck! Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Okay. So it's, yes. that's why it's impressive to this yes. movie. It's, it, it's okay. So I'm gonna watch it. It's very good. It's it's much better than what the critics he's, say. It's not a spoiler, but he, he is filming. Yes, he's, he's got a yeah 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 yeah. Got so it. It's all a POV, but they make it. They do it in such a way. It's true uh, that it's it's very clever. It's very clever the way they did it. You you want your horror movie to be POV, or do you want a like a regular movie? Uh, um, I don't like the found footage. I'm tired of it. I think the found the found footage could be interesting. I think it's cheaper. <laughs> oh, it's definitely cheaper. It's bro. definitely cheaper. Uh, and look, I mean, what was it? A Paranormal Activity had a budget of, I think, it was 50, eleven million, no? No, 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 no. Uh, par- check the budget for Paranormal Activity, please. <laughs> a paranormal, like the first Paranormal Activity. I, thought I it was think it was something million. stupid, like twenty-five grand. Oh, get the fuck out of yeah, here! Yeah, because it was all all POV, and they had a return of like yeah, fifteen thousand USD. 
Yeah. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was fucking nuts. The first one was awesome. crazy. So they they made all and they kinds filled, of I was I was working at the theater when this came out, and this was nuts. This was like wow. fucking four halls full. Made two hundred million. Yeah. Buddy. Jesus yeah. Christ. That I financed the wow. rest of their movies. That financed yeah. their life. Bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. that's amazing. <laughs> That's great. 15 that's, G's. Yeah, and, wow. like, and that's why like it was good. And like, when I see 15 G's and what they did, I'm like, okay, like it, they spent it, the money it, wisely. It's, yeah. And it's not it's, like that new Resident Evil movie where they had 50 million and the movie sucked dicks. I, I don't I haven't watched a Resident Evil movie in like forever. Uh, after oh, the shit. one where um they were I, I don't know. Like those uh, Blade, I didn't like Blade either. I like the first Blade. I like the second Blade. The third one sucked. But now they're going to bring back Blade. Okay. Into the Marvel universe, yeah. You know, what horror movie fucked me up was the 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 one with the um, Dead Silence. Dead Silence, yeah, Dead Silence. Is that where the the with deaf the, guy? No, with the uh, I don't I don't remember the deaf guy, but it, uh, with the puppets. With oh, the ventriloquist dummy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. When he goes I've, to the warehouse. Oh, I remember that a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that a bit. But ventriloquist dummies don't do it for me. But it wasn't it wasn't the main ventriloquist dummy. It was the one. Where he's in like a he's in like a vent I think at one point or like a small space and then there's like the the, the old it's always the old the old lady nun ones always. there that fucking yeah, the nuns scare the shit out of me yeah I don't know why nuns are scary I think it's just the, the call like the black and the white and I guess if you do the makeup yeah oh that, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, bitch. yeah yeah okay okay I remember that yeah that's creepy god damn you yeah. know which one uh, that was fucked yeah which one marked me was uh, strangers the first one. It made me afraid of uh, country houses and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It made me afraid of uh, the countryside. Because people, well, strangers, they, they broke into her house. Yeah, basically, it, but it made me afraid of houses like outside of the city. So Strangers was creepy because they, they had. Strangers. I don't know if they had. came out years ago. They um, made two movies, no? It wasn't that good. I, it wasn't that good. There was just, yeah, click on it. Just click yeah, on an no, image. I didn't, I didn't watch, uh, no, I didn't watch this. So the masks are scary. The masks are very, um, uh, what's that movie? The Purge. They're very purge like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Strangers. What's creepy is kind of like how you see. Go back to where you just were, the first one that you showed. I don't know. No, the go down, 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 down. Uh, right to the right of that. To the right of that. No, no. Already. Yeah, yeah. You see how the lady's standing there, and in the background you see a little bit in the in the darkness a person standing there with a mask on the right, on her right, yeah, yeah. on her left, on our right. You see that. Yeah. So oh, yeah. those kind of scenes was scary and like you're in your house and there's someone in the shadows looking at you within your house. That's uneasy. So they had yeah. that concept down. The problem is the movie was shit. They didn't, you know, but the concept was great. It's kind of like The Purge. The Purge is a great concept, but they overdid it. Yeah. The first Purge, I think, was was, the Purge was so much fun. It's always like that. I think the only the only movies for me that really sticks out where the first and the second the, the second was either better or just as good was Horrible Bosses. That's the, oh, that's the one that fucking yeah, that sticks fun, out. It's great, man. <laughs> it's a fucking oh. hilarious movie. And I liked so Horrible Bosses. I liked and uh, Saw. The first Saw was actually good. Okay, Saw. I, yeah, so I, I like the, the the Saw movies. One but I only thing, like the first one because you know what happened after the first one was supposed to be clever. You don't know what's happening. There was a secret. Yeah. After after that, it just turned into blood. Let's make more uh, elaborate gadgets. Yeah. But that's not why I watched Saw the first time. I watched Saw because at the end, you're like, oh, I didn't know that. You know, yeah. the key was there the whole time or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So the thing about, yeah, the thing about Saw is that I, I, after a couple of movies and I'm just sitting there and I'm like, Man, someone's got a, someone's, someone's sitting in a room thinking of this shit. Like, you know, yeah. like this is not like, oh, okay, let's just re re like go to, go. I don't know, Google this type. Like you, you got to sit there and be like, okay, we're going to, what happens if we pull someone by here and pull them by there and then there's a saw in the middle and then they got to fight for this. Like, fuck, man, you got to really like. He, you got to, we, we should have the, like the government watching those people. I mean, you know, it's. Uh, Jeepers Creepers is not scary, bro. Okay, Jeepers uh, Creepers. Okay. I, 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 I watched one of the, I, one of the first movies I watched as a kid. So yeah, this children. one did, did. Yeah, I was, I was, shit I was a me. kid too, so it scared yeah, me. It's, it's 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 his head off yeah, it's for, bus, like, it's for children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's to scare Fucking. children. But then I, I watched them. They made one recently, no? Well, recent, like a couple years ago. Uh, Creepers, Creepers 3 Creepers or 4? Three, 3, 3, yeah, but it was bad. Oh, so bad. I'm looking it at this and I'm like, me, yeah. oh, man. But that it's was really fucking bad. up. They're supposed to make another one called Reborn. It's coming up soon. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Do you remember Children of the Corn? No. That one I never... Dude, I don't know now if it probably wouldn't scare me. Children of the Corn, Poseidon type that, and that movie was fucking creepy, dude. It was, this couple goes to the driving. They end up at a town. Yeah, the first Children of the Corn. And it's, it's a nice little town, but it's it's just empty. 
So the oh, this fucking freaked me out. As they're, a kid. they're walking <laughs> around. Look, then they finally f- they're just seeing kids, bro. So there's no adults. So essentially, I think the story was like one of those kids. Th- they're super religious, but the kid is actually possessed by like the devil or a demon, and they killed all the adults. And but it sounds uh, not as scary when I say it, but trust me, it's unsettling and weird. And this kid's so what's his name, Malachi or some shit? Fucking creepy ass kid. Is Look there a face. scene? Is there a scene where he forces the woman to put her hand in a boiling pot? I remember. I feel like there's a scene like that. Fuck. I don't remember. But there's a few ch- like, there's children. There's like that in The Sopranos. Three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this Children of the Corn, the first one was fucking creepy. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I gotta watch that. Uh, children of the Corn was fucked oh, there's up. There's so many of them. It's just, you know, kids ah, singing all that. It's creepy. Yeah, why are yeah, kids yeah. creepy? I don't know. But they're fucking creepy. You ever wonder why do why are we scare little girls? Why is a little girl if her long hair is in front of her face? Why does that scare us? Oh, the ring. I yeah, why does that scare us though? Uh, I I don't. So like like that doesn't scare me. Those look like real. I, no, I, that looks. I, I, I know why. I know why I know it what scares that us. Oh, that's like a new children in the corner. No, don't because watch that shit. They take something that is supposed to be innocent, mm. and not afraid, mm. and it's supposed to be a uh, uh, pure, right? Yeah. But they turn it into something that is vile. And dangerous and could basically assassinate you. Like what the news does to black people in the <laughs> ghetto. <laughs> so that's why I think it scares us so much. Is because it, normally something supposed that to be good. in our imagination is yeah. untouched by evil is now evil. Maybe. And the worst kind. And like we'll and fuck you worst, up. Exactly. So I think it, it bamboozles Maybe that us. explains the nuns thing too. Yeah. Yeah. You know, these are the people that you would go to to confide in or whatever the fuck. And then all of a sudden now they're like, they'll rip your sword out. Maybe it's that, yeah, because then you're like, oh, there's no safety. Oh, that yeah, actually makes sense. Feel that, that, safe anywhere, yeah. Because you're like, yeah, fuck, the, I feel you, safe you, with a little girl. You take girl. the one spot where, I guess, if you go back in history, you take the one spot where people felt safe and you rip that from them and make it the, the, the worst place you can go or the worst then you, you feel like there's no to, safety. And then, yeah, now what? That's like a horror movie where the bad guy can kill you in the middle of the day because no one's at night. That scares you because you're like, oh, fuck. Now Because yeah. normally when you watch a horror movie when it's daytime, you relax. Yes. Uh, I and don't know some if, movies I, fuck you on that. I don't know if anyone did it before. I'm pretty sure they did. But Paranormal Activity, that's what fucked me up with Paranormal, paranormal Activity. This shit was started happening in the day. Broad daylight. The yeah. first movie was great, whatever. Then all the cupboards and pans just fucking fly out. That was a scary scene. I jumped. I scared the shit out of me. You saw the was theater, right? Ex- uh, yeah, did I see in the theater? I think so. I saw in the theater. It scared me. Yeah. yeah. But I had so much fun. Uh, no, it was great though. Or do you guys remember like uh, horror stuff? The one that has marked me the most is the short. The one with the light switch. Oh, the 12 minute or, yeah. or six minute. Not even. It was shorter uh, no, than no, that. No, it was shorter than that. It's yeah. really short. Uh, on YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's uh, like a Swedish thing or some shit. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah. It was like a part of a competition. But because like your safest place, where is it? Your bedroom. Technically, yeah. Right? So okay. the scariest place is the guy's and, bedroom at the, in this point. And yeah, and where you're... Where, What's, uh, type it in on YouTube. If you, you don't use the volume, we'll put a little screen. He might be able to see it. It's, it's very short. You haven't seen this? No. Well, I mean, oh. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think you even need the volume for it. It's still scary. Like the concept. Uh, that would make sense. No, I think it was uh, a witch or something. Lights out? Lights out, maybe. Have I seen this? Yeah, fuck your coffee. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, yeah, this guy, this mud guy. Oh, yeah, it is this. Yes, this is this, yeah. Make it oh, full screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to enjoy this, buddy. You guys can see it perfectly? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So this guy comes, uh, this lady comes home. I love how you thought it was a man. In my memory. Look at that. How weird was that, right? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> You're like, fuck, it feels like it's something there. Oh, there uh, uh, uh. Behind her. Nope. Yeah, you're like, uh, you're staying on. <laughs> you're staying on, right? I'm too scared tonight. The light is staying on. This was yeah. Weird. Like, there's no way I'm going to bed. I can't after that. Look, look. Did she I can't. Look, look, she can't go to bed. She has her eye open. You can't after that. You can't go to bed. Did I see this? No, I didn't see this. Look, so she's looking. She's like, "Is there? Is that my imagination? Is there something there?" Oh, yo, that'll fuck you. 
Oh, fuck me, man. No, don't do that. I hate uh, when they yeah. cover your head. Because now, now you can't see. Uh. Now you can't see what could be, Yo. what the could be happening, sir? Uh, son of a bitch. It's right there. No. Wait, door's open? Door's still open. Just like it was. The door hasn't moved. But she thinks through the shadow. She's like, am I seeing something? She still has light next to her, though. I swear to God, this is a plot twist and it's like her daughter. <laughs> See, it's, trust me, it's better than that. She's like, it's plugged in. What the fuck's going on? I don't know why this is the best plan. I think she's turning off the lights. What is she doing? She's fixing it. She's like making sure it's plugged in. There's no way any body part is coming out of that. that yeah, yeah. At that, that point, bed. you're too scared. Because right now she's under the covers. So she's terrified. She's like, what? The light's back on. Yo. She's like, oh, it was my imagination. Was it though? Ah. Because I, ah, bro, how the fuck? <laughs> yeah, bro. How crazy is that? Yeah. And I'm assuming there's a, there's a jump scare there with sound and everything. Yeah, yeah. When, yeah. when, when you're watching it with the sound, it's even, because right now already it was creepy. Yeah. Because you didn't expect it. With the sound, it's worse. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, one, yeah, with the my, sound. One of my favorite shorts. Well, well that's actually what I do at the mo- if I'm going to watch a movie theater. So as much as I love horror movies, I hate jump scares. Yeah. So obviously. I'll, you know, I'll just, I'll, I'll like block either one ear. Like I'll sit there as yeah. if I'm like just watching the movie. Yeah. But I'll just I don't like, want to hear the, the sound. Yeah. I'll do that. Like block one so it's not as bad. But but once you remove the sound, it's like, it's not as bad. Yeah. But that's why they do it. Like, that's yeah. like they, yeah. Yeah. I, I redirect all the jump scares to my balls. So it feels like I'm falling constantly. What does that mean? Wait, so what? Like the jump, the <laughs> yeah, jump I scare, I internalize it. So like, instead of reacting, so you I go, uh, you yeah, just thrust. I just, I just like, like I, yeah, like a, I'd like a small, like, like I clench my ass, like it all just goes okay, to my yeah, balls. Yeah. Okay. You know what I, like, <laughs> so it just constantly feels like I'm falling. I don't know if I read that movie right. Cause I'm scared. He's horny. I don't know. What <laughs> <laughs> but lights out. The reason why it scares you is a good example of it. It, it takes you in your safe space. So well, that's uh, what it is. And it also scares you cause it's so simple. And, and, because, yeah. and it's an apartment. Yeah. Most of the people nowadays live in apartments. Yeah, yeah. It, it, no, it feels uh, it feels close to reality. Yeah. And it's just like, because you always feel uneasy, even in your own house at night when you're turning off the lights. Yeah. There's something like you run up primordial. Really yeah, in, in your head. Uh, for no reason. Yeah. People have that f- weird fear. Maybe it's maybe the reason is, is films. I, 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 would, I would assume so. No, it's yeah. evolutionary, I think. Uh, they've said that about the dark, but then I'll go to places where, like, let's say villages where people don't really do social media and shit like that, and they're not scared of anything. They go walk in the pitch black. They don't have the same concept of hiding in my closet. Who the fuck would be hiding in my closet? They don't have that. I think that comes from from cinema. Yeah, eh? from a young kid. Yeah, you uh, see all cinema, this. and also uh, to be honest, also the news as well. When you like, what was yeah. that? Last Halloween or the Halloween before, where the guy dressed up as like a knight, but. It, you oh, yeah, and he went and killed people in Quebec. This is here in Quebec, yeah. yeah. Where he literally, like, the woman answered her, her door and he cut her head off. Oh, did he cut her head off the guy? I, I think it was, like, a clean... Yeah, well, I mean, she shoot... A, I remember that he was, was walking around trying to stab people. I remember, oh, if he decapitated someone, that's yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah, he, he clearly, he did decapitate someone. Oh, which no, really sucks. He was walking around with an actual fucking sword. Type in Quebec, yeah. Man in the medieval kills two. Oh, no. One woman, I think, was decapitated, if I'm not mistaken. This is a terrible image. That's disgusting, bro. What is that? That looks creepy. Is that a body on the floor? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. This guy's like, Jesus Christ, my night just got worse. And that's him. I think so. Yeah. He was dressed up as a, and like, fucking imagine you're Halloween. Like, you don't like, okay, cool. A nice, nice costume, buddy. Yeah. Nice outfit. And, and then, like, you know. Bro, there's. there's a <laughs> well, what? Bro, this uh, uh, pigeon says the, said the sus. There's somebody named Pigeon. In, said the, in the suspect police is force. from Montreal area. Yeah, but he drove like up north, I think, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why'd they ask Pigeon for a testimony? Quebec is waking up after a night of horror. God damn. What happened to this guy? They caught him. He's in jail. Yeah, no, no. They did catch him. Did he not? Okay, maybe I was wrong. But I I, I remember reading something like he decapitated her. Fuck. But anyways, it was like... Gotham City has Batman. We have Pigeon. (laughs) Wait, go up? I'm just curious. Do they have the guy's name so we could Google it see where he's at now? No, I don't think so. Uh, Man in medieval... Fuck, that's creepy. That's it's weird. It's scary. You know, like, no shit you don't want to open up your door. Who's ringing on my door on Halloween now? 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it used to be a celebratory thing. Kids are coming to get candy. Let yeah. me open the door. Now what? Now it's a guy who wants to cut your head off. MoroccoWorldNews.com. He's amazing. Yeah, they, this made the rounds. I remember watching. I remember thinking it was fake news at first. Like I thought it was like a joke. Uh, yeah. Meme. CBC reported that the attacks took place in four locations. Fuck. And that's right there. We'll go up, go up. Chateau Frontenac, isn't that the... Uh, it's Quebec City, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's not far from where we go. Oh, he was Tunisian. Yeah, October, uh, a 21-year-old migrant from Tunisia. Oh, no, he oh, killed. He, yeah, he beheaded a woman and killed two others. He... Yeah, there you go. Uh, Wait, a 21-year-old migrant from Tunisia beheaded a... Oh, my God, bro. He was 21. And he was Tunisian. Oh, no. This was in uh, Nice, southern France. Sorry, oh, that sorry, was that sorry, guy. Sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so it happened... I remember that. I remember in Nice, there was also the the the, the truck that ran and ran people over the, yeah, or the van yeah. or whatever. Well, wasn't it... Was it, it was a truck that ran into a bus stop and then he came out with a machete. Oh, that was another one. Or that was another one. Yeah, and Europe, Europe was getting fucked, bro. They had all that terror. They had, uh, yeah, we went through a period of Europe just getting rattled. Here, too, we had the, the, the Pulse nightclub. Sh- we had a lot in North America, too. Just that there's so much news and shit happening here that w- w- the news cycles are, are quicker. Well, yeah. now there's a shooting every night in Montreal. So you're the second person in this week to bring that up to me. I'm unaware, I guess, because I don't watch the news. But it's rampant. Apparently, people are getting shot here all the time now. There was there was a drive-by shooting that killed one person, injured three on Sunday. Where? Sunday, uh, Laval. And then Monday night, there was another sh- a drive-by shooting in Montreal. Are, are these uh, gang-related or they're random? Like, who's dying? Uh, I, I have no... Th- there are some where they confirm that there were people who are, like, affiliated with criminal yeah. organization. Um, but then there's some that I, I don't know. I don't know if it's, like... Street gang who's like trying to... I don't fucking know, man. Because I'm just curious, is it innocent people that are getting killed or is it gang members that are getting killed? I don't think so. Well, look, like innocent, like maybe there's... Like bystanders, are they getting killed? Or Because if it's just the I gang I, members, I, I, I don't want it to happen, but I don't mind as much as I would uh, some lady I, walking her I don't kid. think... It, no, I don't think it's like they're going around just shooting at random people. Because we would have heard about that. Yeah, and I think it... It's sad to say, but I think it would be a more of a serious situation for, for real. If, if, yeah, if, yeah. If, if that was the case. Yeah. Montreal shooting. Yeah, it's like two days ago, another one. Montreal investigate drive by shooting. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Second in second in two days. Oh wow. Yeah. No injuries reported. Oh, These are bad one. shooters. Well, no, but in the second They're one. Sloppy criminals. Yeah, that, that that that's the Montreal one. But the Laval one killed one guy, one person. Fuck. Kills one and injures three in Laval. Yeah, that's the one. That was on Sunday. Mayor Ramon was shot and killed every uh uh, early oh, Sunday morning. Old fuck is young. Shamadi sector of Laval. Shamadi's always been a little, a little suspect. Yeah. Fuck. The injury. Who's the person that passed away? That was uh, he was in a car and succumbed to his injuries after EMTs tried to. Do we know who this is? I don't know. Go down. This is the first time hearing about the story. What do you yeah. want me to tell you? Uh, no, mm. They're not giving names. Nah, uh, yeah, the yeah, they're not giving anything. Fuck. He, if this was in a car, uh, if this was in a car, maybe road rage. No. No. Uh, Shooting because of road rage. It could happen. Well, I see that more in the States, not here. Because <laughs> here we yeah. don't have as many guns, but it could yeah. happen. Yeah, no, it could definitely happen. But again, I don't... You get mad? I don't know. Like, I'm not a, justifying it. There was a fucking story in the States uh, over the winter time. Do we know how it happened? though? What, this one? This, yeah. No, no. idea. I think no. we were just... I'm not sure, to be honest. What was the story you were bringing up? Well, the, the one in the, the States where it was um, neighbors. So they're like, they're facing each other. Right, so the oh yeah, I saw the. I think it was in Philly or so, somewhere like that. Yeah, well, I think oh, from I what from what sh- I remember, you showed me that. I showed you that it was an actual murder. Yeah, and then he went up point blank, shot him in the head. Yeah, yeah. Well, he came out with he, he came out with it with, with a handgun, and he, he fired off his handgun a couple of times. He he, he got, got them both, but they were both still alive. Went back inside, came out with an assault rifle, and then finished them off. Finished them off, and then killed himself. And then went back inside and killed himself. He yeah. was like, a, it was a war uh, veteran or something. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and all this started because something he with was the shoveling, and they were they were talking shit about him. They were saying, "We're gonna make your life miserable." No, no, no. From what I heard, it was that they were putting the snow on his side yeah, of the yeah. street or and something. And he was like, and "Stop was it!" Like, yeah. And then uh, they're like, "We're gonna make your life miserable." Or two other victims were injured in the incident, but did not suffer gunshot wounds. Oh, they could have heard the gunshots and fallen on the floor and gotten hurt or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good at least. So, yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's yeah, fucking yeah. crazy. But I remember that couple. Oh my Jesus god, that was nuts. Christ, man, fucking snow. 
And you know what's crazy is when the guy's walking with the handgun, they even said, go, shoot me. Do you remember that? What yeah. are you going to do? Shoot me, shoot me, shoot. Like, it's just absurd. That was, that was fucked up. I remember watching that and I was like, oh, this is, I can't like, believe we have a video of this. That, and then, and then to be honest, the comments were even worse. Well, they deserved it. You talk shit, you get, you get, well, things. No, it's no, like, no, no, not, not like, to get Jesus murdered, Christ. bro. That's, that's, Dude, a, not that, to get fucking that, that, murdered. There's three yeah, kids I think they had, or two that's kids. That's done. Murder is the end. Like, death is the end. There's no yeah. coming back. That, like, you, to deserve death, bro, it's not because of you're arguing with your neighbor. That's not deserving death. Maybe if you rape a kid, then you deserve death, but not, not this stuff. This is, you don't deserve death for that. You're an asshole neighbor, but you don't deserve to get killed, bro. That's crazy. Fuck, man. No, and then the guy killed himself, too. Well, of course, he knows he's going to jail, right? So no coming back from that. I guess that's why he was frustrated. He goes, you know what? I'm going to take my own life. I'm taking these guys out before I go fuck these people. That's crazy. That's, that's messed up. Anyway. You, were, you were outside shoveling stone one day and just... <laughs> fuck. So you know, were you, are you active on TikTok? Yeah. Do you Not as active as I, as I want to be, but yeah. Um, TikTok, is, TikTok is cool. Um, it's... I'm not going to say it's... An, it, it's the newest platform. It's a newer one, but um, it's still different than like Facebook and, and Instagram. But I can see how everyone is trying. Like TikTok came in, and almost every platform was like, "Oh fuck!" Oh, oh, yeah, big time. Like Instagram now, uh, Reels, and yeah. they're pushing Reels, and they're YouTube, uh, they're uh, YouTube Shorts. Yeah, uh, yeah. TikTok came in and was like, like they, 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 all the eyes went there, right? So, um, and it's still like it's still big. And I didn't listen to Gary <laughs> early enough. I should have, yeah, I should have, and um, because fuck, I, when he was saying to get on it, like it was still like fresh, and I mean, I would have, I think I would have been a little bit more advanced on it, but anyways, it doesn't matter. Like, there's still so much you can still post a video and just have it blow up for like no reason without having any followers. You know, it's the only platform that that's doable in right now. Kind of, it it's depends. Very hard if you're if you're doing it on. Um, to be honest, I think it really. Depends on the the content. It's like the content has to be good. That's one thing that I, I I've learned is that like it's not like oh you can post whatever you want. Like it's, TikTok is more so like I remember filming a little like Borat fucking video. I wasn't even in front of it. It was quick. It was like ten seconds, and it just it was my first video. I had like twenty thousand followers on, on on TikTok, and it it hit like one point four million or something views. So I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, and all it was these simple, other videos, quick. Uh, it was it was two cars and like I did a U-turn and I got out. I was in the snow. I just filmed a quick thing like that. Posted, yeah, why not? Whatever. And then I'm like, holy shit! And then you got all these videos where you spend time and spend hours of editing and piecing the things together and filming and writing. And, and then like they, well. they get they get nothing. And you're like, well, fuck. Is this what you want? Like, cause that's a lot easier to do. Yeah, but it's weird. You don't know sometimes what's gonna hit. You don't. But um, but it's it's caused me to modify my content a little bit just to make it shorter. Um, but like on Facebook, they use, they still prefer longer videos. Facebook. Facebook. Facebook is what I'm trying to maximize now. I'm actually trying to get in contact with a company that that's their model is they take all your content from your YouTube mm -hmm. and they make clips and stuff and they monetize it on Facebook. So you don't have to do anything. They take all your, and we have like thousands of videos. So we're going to see right now if they're interested. I didn't even know you can monetize Facebook until now. Yeah. So same here. I haven't monetized Facebook because I just. I haven't because I didn't know. For some reason, I try. I, I've tried to sign up for it, but but my postal code is always wrong. So I don't know what the fuck is going on there. But I was like, whatever. I just I gotta call them or email them or send them something to help me out. But yeah. but I don't know if I want to monetize it just yet, or maybe like a video on two or something. Well, you have nothing to lose, no. Not like the thing is that like it, it, it's I, I don't know how like I don't know how much the benefit would be like how much would I make if I would monetize it versus the amount of people like oh there's ads now. Well, I'm not gonna watch it anymore. Yeah. Because those are ads that are not mine now. They're ads of regular, just companies. Regular ads, yeah. You know, so... But do they still... They don't play ads before our videos right now? I think we're not play, monetized. No. On, uh, no, if, if you're not monetized, there's no ads. There's no ads, okay. When you start monetizing, man, they put ads at the beginning, at the end. Oh, they decide. And then they put... Well, I think you can choose what you want, but I've, I've had videos where like... It's a one-minute video and there's six ads. Something like that. But they're so smart with their ad placement... Where it's like, um, uh, I'm, I'm trying to create a scenario here where like, for example, like uh, it, it's the, the the biggest cannonball splash ever, we'll say whatever. Yeah, so the yeah. guy jumps off the trampoline and just and as right about as he's to about land. touch the water, add. And now you're sitting there and you're like, well, it's oh, 30 no, I seconds. Wait. Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, fuck, I, I, you know, I watched 25 seconds. I watched a minute. I've to invested watch the in the jump. I got to see the landing. Th that's why I stopped opening uh, the Facebook app because yeah. I would get so fucking angry. 
like I'm I'm watching videos and it's about to be a moment like that, and like a fucking ad comes like fuck this app. That's why yeah. I got off it. That's yeah. interesting. I never I don't spend that much time on Facebook. Yeah. And it ends up and to be honest, those ones there I have to sit through them because fuck like I'm watching the movie. The oh, title says biggest cannonball splash is about to hit the water. Like, fine. Tell me about your your burgers. <laughs> yeah, and then <laughs> and then the best is it's not the biggest cannonball splash. And then like, oh shit. <laughs> You touche. You win again. Facebook. Also, the way you can consume their videos is very smart. Like so, YouTube, you gotta, you gotta scroll down and then you gotta pick another Click. video, whatever you like. But this, it just it feeds you on the oh, this videos. This is bad. TikTok is is rough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guilty. I'm guilty of of wasting time on it. Um, there's uh, uh, so much so that I know. <laughs> That after you've spent a certain amount of time, it tells you scrolling. There's a video, so you'll scroll into another video, and there's a guy. Whoa, you've been scrolling for a little while now. You should maybe take a nap, get no, some water. No, really? Bro, yeah. I've had the same thing yeah. happen to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. What's the threshold? And I go uh, and I go. Fuck this fucker's right. <laughs> I'm gonna get off. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking it's rough. Funny. It's. It, I love that it, they it, do it's, that. It's though. funny. And the first time I saw it, I was like. Whoa, how long have I been scrolling for? This is like an hour. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know how long it's for, but... I also know I've gone too far when I start getting conspiracy theory videos. Oh, that just depends on what you like. You, yeah, there's you, there's everything on TikTok. Yeah. yeah everything. Yeah, yeah. It used to be just, what, dances? It was dances and, and like, uh, lip syncing or lip syncing. Yeah, lip-syncing yeah, or yeah, yeah. lip syncing. Yeah, when yeah, I yeah. first used the app and we're making fun of it, all I would get was choreographed dances, and I love that shit, bro. Then I got off TikTok. Mm. I got back on it. It was different. I got conspiracy videos. Now, so every time, I'll, I'll, every couple of days, three, four days, I'll open it. And I have like 50 messages from him. Like he'll share videos I'll watch. I'll get into it. And, and because I'm away for so long and I go in and whatever they give me and I like and I scroll, it changes my algorithm. Yep. So I've gone from dances. I don't I don't even get one. I don't get any dance anymore. Right now, last week was hot mom TikTok. I was just getting hot moms. <laughs> oh, that's the best when you oh, land on that. Oh, bro. Or and, thigh and, talk, thigh and, talk. and it's so funny because you have them like you've landed on like they write in their videos. You've landed on hot mom TikTok. I'm like what? And then all the next videos I see are all hot moms. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I don't mind it, but I'm just saying I don't know how I got here. Conspiracy. I land on on uh, Illuminati stuff a lot. Uh, fuck yeah, I land on weird. Uh, yeah, yeah, the TikTok. I remember at the beginning, I was trying it out. Like it was it was very easy to change what they fed, what they fed you. you. Yeah. Now no, huh? Now it's like it's it still is, but it's uh, I think it's a little a little harder. It's because I, I don't know if it's the time of watch, the like. I think it all has to do with it. Yeah, yeah. So they decide like no, no, he's uh, he, and it listens to you. Every, every, all the apps listen to you. Yeah. All the apps listen to you. They listen to you. They listen to us now, and our phones are, are locked or whatever. They listen to you now, and they're gonna feed you shit later. That we've discussed. Remember when people said it wasn't real, it was a conspiracy theory, and then we actually confirmed it. Yeah. How'd you guys confirm it? Uh, well, not just from anecdotal, where we got stuff that we never searched up, but we talked about on a podcast, and then we, we were both getting ads for it in our phones. And it's, That's it, it was something, I forgot what it was, bro, but it was something so stupid. There's no chance of us ever looking, like, it's not something we're really going to buy. Like, it has nothing to do with our lives. So we're like, oh, that's fucking weird. And then I saw a podcast where it happened to other people, like, they had confirmed. I think even Rogan talked about it. Yeah, I think Rogan did talk about it, but it, I think it's. And then we had somebody who too. told us, yeah, somebody who told us that it listens and you agree to all that shit, and it's 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 only allowed to to feed like they sell the information to companies, so the company knows like Matthew, uh, he spoke about fucking I don't know Tim Hortons coffee, he spoke about X Y Z thing this many times, yeah. so feed him the ad, but they're not gonna take your info and and they're supposed to not take real conversations. They're just supposed to take bits and pieces and see if they could sell you something based on what you said. Got it. But it's completely insane. There's even people that ask, how do you stop your phone from listening to you for ads? Uh, I have one way on my phone, but, it, but it's an Android. So I don't know I mean, if everybody Facebook, else has iPhones. Facebook so. and Google have said no, but there's a substantial evidence from people around the world that say, yo, there's something, there's something trippy here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So essentially, uh, hi, Lena, here you are. I have to check. Oh, nice. Um, ba, 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 ba. So essentially mine, I went into the debug settings. And I found a thing where you add it, and now I have an option where it says sensors off. So when I click on it, all the sensors, uh, geolocation, uh, audio, okay. all that, all's off while I have it on. So it can't tag me or anything. But because it's all off, I'll lose out on stuff like the geolocation. Exactly, yeah. So then I'll turn it on when I want to, but when I want it off, I'll just turn it off, and it turns everything off. It, you ha- it has to ask you to use the microphone to use everything. Okay. So that I like. That's cool. Yeah, that I like. But it's, I mean, how... 
The truth is, I just don't like it on principle. I don't have anything that I'm hiding particularly, uh, but yeah. I don't like that they're able to do it. Yeah. That's what bothers me. Yeah. It's like, I'm not doing anything nefarious. We're, we're goofy people talking about stupid shit all the time. Yeah. It's just the fact that you think you could do it bothers me. Yeah. I sometimes fuck with him. I sometimes tell my FBI agent that he's adopted. <laughs> to hurt his feelings. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Matthew, we've kept you for a long time, but before you go, bro, where do you want people to follow you? Oh, uh... Uh, any of the social media so Instagram Facebook YouTube TikTok I have all your links in the description you oh. just have to click but cool. I, that's what I was asking were you more active because I was wondering where you want to direct them so they sell your new shit uh, or is it all you post everywhere I pretty much post everywhere okay. but I would say the main place is Instagram still still Instagram yeah I like Instagram might be changing to TikTok but more, it's more so more so Instagram fucking right so got Matthew Jafrida it was a pleasure to have you around and hopefully uh, you come back We'll 100%. Do another podcast. I'm back tomorrow. Yeah, we'll bring you back tomorrow. We'll bring you back on a movie night. We'll do some shit. Yeah. Sounds great. Looking forward to it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>